that one that everyone loved of her with the crab, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, I was able to go uh, fishing over my vacation a couple weeks ago at the end of May, and I actually went crabbing. I went salmon fishing and crabbing out in the Tillamook Bay with um, our fisherman friend here, Jeremy, and he still guides, so an excellent guide to go out there with, but we caught 30 Dungeness crab, and I still have a lot in my freezer. And what was fun about crabbing was that you're constantly doing something. You know, when you fish, you have to wait. You're skimming the waters, but with crabbing, it's all action. You pull up the crab pots, and they are squirming away. You measure them, make sure they're the right size, then you can keep them and eat them for later. So it was so much fun out on the Tillamook Bay, and if you're out fishing today or this week, we'll get some good weather for it. So right now we are in the sun here. A few high clouds are out and around, but that's a beautiful uh, afternoon so far as we head into it. 67 degrees in Portland. Many spots are seeing temperatures in the 60s and we'll climb into the 70s here real soon. Our highs today close to 80 degrees here, likely around 5 to 6 p.m. is when we'll hit the 80 degree mark. So a uh, pretty warm finish to our day today. And as you can see, many spots in the sun and uh, sitting in the uh, mid to upper 60s at this point. The Dow's a little warmer now in the uh, mid 70s there, but we are seeing clear and calm conditions all around the region. High pressure really helping out with that. We do see some changes as we head towards our week and we are tracking the system and a nice plume of moisture that will bring a chance for some showers as we head towards our Saturday. So take a look at our future cast. Of course, today finishes out dry. We'll keep it mostly sunny into our evening. Just a beautiful night ahead. Come tomorrow morning starting out mainly clear, but we do see increasing clouds through Friday. Overall tomorrow still stays dry. We'll see a nice afternoon too as temperatures again climb into the 80s, but it's this weekend on Saturday. We see the tail end of the front with that system offshore working in and that may bring a chance for some showers here heading into our late morning on Saturday and throughout the afternoon on uh, Saturday as well. So a bit of wet weather here as we head into Saturday, which is also the first day of summertime. So poor timing with this rain. But the good news is at this point, as we head into Sunday, maybe a drizzle for the morning, but things do dry out for Father's Day. And by the afternoon, I do suspect we'll see partly sunny conditions and a nice finish to the weekend. So a uh, good news for all the fathers out there celebrating with families this weekend. We should see some good weather to finish out the weekend. But again, we'll be tracking uh, some showers heading into Saturday, likely around the early afternoon. But today and Friday still stays dry. And as we head into Monday of next week, we continue that summer like weather. We'll be back in the sunshine and we do see some temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, even heading into Monday and beyond. So it does Stay a bit hot as we head into next week. Just a little blip in the weather here. Some rainfall expected this weekend. Out towards the coast, partly cloudy. We'll be in the upper 60s for many spots in Portland now. Partly cloudy and mostly uh, cloudy with highs today in the low 80s for uh, many spots in the valley too. So here's our seven day forecast. We'll drop temperatures into the weekend, low to mid 70s. A chance for showers come Saturday as we start our summer Father's Day again on Sunday. We'll see partly sunny skies and we'll be back in the mid 70s. Back to you guys. And I have to say, Kelly, that crab picture was awesome. Oh, thank uh, you. <laughs> stick around. We have more after this.